Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you a really cool application called 3RVX, formerly known as 3R1C, which is now in version 2.5. This is a bit like an application that I showed you called MacSound, however this is a bit more cleaner and much more professional. This and MacSound uh, give pretty much um, Mac OS X volume control for Windows. If you do want to learn a bit more about the application, you want to uh, read about it down here. And um, a link to this website for the download will be in the video description. So download it and install it like any other application. And unlike Mac Sound, you don't have to run it in compatibility mode. So when you first launch it, you get the system tray icon down here. Now I just hover over it, 3RVX. If I click on it, you can see this little um, slider bar here to control the volume and also if you do want to control it like a Mac you want to hold the Windows key on your keyboard and use the scroll wheel on your mouse and you get this lovely Mac style preview like exactly like it is on the Mac so um, and actually another hotkey that you wanna probably know is the Windows key and minus and plus on your keyboard so Windows key and minus and plus on your keyboard okay so let's now go into the settings so I'm just gonna right click and you can go to settings mixer and exit out of the application so let's, let's go into settings so you have general display hockey setup and skin skin chooser and about about's not interesting obviously um, behavior you can run it on Windows startup and play the sound which is that squeaky noise every time you go up and down uh, the volume you can have custom volume change amount so every time it goes the volume goes up then it'll go up in different amounts different chunks I guess you could say the mixer is um, you can check use custom mixer program on tray click so when you click on it you see that um, it has a slider where that you can move the little blue circle up and down this will open up if you take check this here it will open up the volume mixer the windows volume mixer to uh, change you know headphone settings and other applications so, so if I just click it open up it opens up the volume mixer which is quite handy I actually prefer that rather than the slider I just think it's much more easier to control and the language obviously there's quite a few here display um, you can have the visibility so keep above other windows display icon in system tray and hide when other programs are full screen um, quite like this one here and display icon in system tray I recommend you have it in your system tray and another thing that I really quite recommend is if you do want to replace this 3RVX icon with the actual Windows volume icon um, I guess you could do that because it has exactly the same functionality since you actually can go into the volume mixer very easily unlike Mac sound so um, those are the vis visibility options with the position you can have it on um, whatever display you have you can have it default which is um, what this means here you see the little um, box that comes up and then you can go up and down it has the little settings down here somewhere in the middle of your screen and um, you can have it default which is you know three quarters down um, in your screen you can have it centered which is in the middle and obviously and custom location I like it centered depends on really where you like it but you know, just, I think it just looks nice here this little preview is what I meant this little box here so I like it centered by default it's somewhere down here you know like the actual Mac but I think it looks so much nicer in the middle um, and also I forgot to mention you can have the fade options in the visibility let's go into the hotkey setup you can add a few hotkeys which is really really good if you you know don't like the actual hotkeys you can add your own ones so you can have loads of the same thing so as you can see there's volume down and there's also another volume down and there's two options for mute, there's two options for volume down and two for volume up which is really really good if I just go to add and then you can uh, go down here, go to action and I'm just going to make a new volume up and a new volume down so I'm just going to go to volume up go to key combination and hold the alt key on my keyboard and plus so alt and plus and then hit done 
and now go to add another one so go to add volume down key combination you just click anywhere anywhere on the on the bar then alt and the minus key hit done now I just hit save and now it should work if I just hit alt and the minus and plus as you can see I got it working so it's, it's easy as that and uh, pretty much finally the skin chooser since a bow doesn't really count as anything <laughs> there's eight different um, skins that are installed by default and quite nice the default these two default ones are the Mac style <coughs> the only other one I really recommend using is the Vista one the others are pretty much I don't know if you're funky <laughs> but the default one is pretty much for the Mac style kind of look uh, to it you can have it with the black icon as well so if, if you're using a really light background then that's quite useful and um, that's pretty much it so um, 3 RVX really cool application as you can see I've put it to the black icon really nice um, the Mac style volume control on Windows and I really recommend using this because it really is a neat application so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again hello